If you're a big fan of the Yellowstone drama series, you've probably been fascinated by the breathtaking views of the great outdoors, along with the gorgeous ranch and house where the Dutton family lives on the show. Ever wondered about the place where the series was filmed and what it's like to be there? Stay tuned for more because we're going to show you that the Yellowstone Ranch is not only real, but you can stay there. Here's what you need to know before embarking on that epic trip that you'll never forget. First, let us talk about the brief history of the area. The 2,500-acre working ranch is located in Bitterroot Valley in the small town of Darby, Montana, with a current population of only less than 800 people. The area was previously inhabited by the Salish Native American tribe for hundreds of years. Originally known as the Shelton Ranch, it was occupied by settlers in 1880 and was an apple orchard before it was purchased by William S. Ford, a glass tycoon, and Howard Clark Hollister, a federal judge from Ohio, in 1914. That same year, an architectural firm called Bates & Gamble was commissioned to build the 6,000-square-foot Ford Hollister Lodge using logs and stones harvested from the area. The construction of the lodge lasted three years and became one of the great log structures of the American West. Three massive barns were also built by Ford on the property for his dairy business. After Ford's death, his wife and daughters operated the ranch as a guest ranch. It was later sold in the 1950s and renamed the Chief Joseph Ranch in honor of the great Nez Pierce chief who traversed the property. The ranch has seen multiple owners since then, including a self-made millionaire Chippewa Indian named Melvin Purveyus, who spent 10 years restoring the property. His ranch is currently owned by Shane Leibel and his family. So, when is the best time to visit the ranch and have the perfect Western Montana getaway? The ranch is open to received guests from June until the end of August. You'll need to book your reservations months or even a year ahead of time since the ranch has become a popular destination due to the show. The ranch is closed to guests while filming the show, so plan your visit accordingly. Depending on the time of year that you decide to visit, whether you're able to make a reservation on the ranch itself or around the area, don't forget to dress appropriately for weather. At springtime, temperatures can be anywhere between the mid-40s to 70s, while it's warm and sunny during the summer, with temperatures ranging from the 60s upwards into the hundreds during the day. Meanwhile, in the fall, temperatures can be anywhere between the 50s and 80s at daytime, but drop to the low 30s in the nighttime. Expect temperatures to be in the low 20s in the winter, and with the winter weather becoming unpredictable during that time of year, it's best that you dress in layered clothing. The closest airport to the ranch is the Missoula International Airport. Guests going to the ranch should book the earliest flight into Missoula with the fewest connections in order to avoid delays. Those coming in during the winter months and during the fire season, around August and September, should consider getting travel insurance. Guests should rent a car in order to easily get to the ranch, which is approximately 65 miles from the airport. The drive will take about an hour and a half. Of course, the very first thing that you'll look for when you get there is the Dutton Ranch sign. Whether you're a guest on the ranch or not, fans of the show are welcome and allowed to take photos as long as the show's not filming. Just make sure you don't block the driveway while you're taking your selfies and Instagrammable shots. According to the ranch owner, Shane LaBelle, hundreds of people come over just to take photos on the sign. Just taking photos while you're standing under the sign will surely make you feel like you're entering the world of the Dutton family. One can't help but be curious of the main house featured on Yellowstone, which, according to the show's set designer, Carla Curry, was another character in the show. Some people who have seen the lodge in the past actually think it has a very unusual architectural structure. Up to this day, the original roof of the lodge remains intact, which is made of timber that's over 100 feet long and all came from just one tree. Some of the logs used for building the lodge had a length of over 60 feet and were 2 feet in diameter. The lodge was previously operated as a bed and breakfast from 2004 to 2012. When Shane Leibel and his family bought the ranch in 2012, this iconic log structure became their family home. A lot of renovations were made on the lodge, making sure there was a balance in keeping its historic value while at the same time making the space functional and modern enough for his family. It also still uses its original Tiffany lighting. Renovations were made on the kitchen, mudroom, and great room. Since it became a set on the show, new furniture and draperies were placed in the lodge, and they were mixed with the family heirlooms coming from different generations, with each generation bringing its own style and aesthetic to the lodge. 
While guests are not allowed to book a stay at the lodge, there are two cabins available for rent that will make guests feel like they're characters on the show during their stay. First is the Fisherman Cabin, or Lee Dutton's Cabin, which offers a 360 degree view of the Bitterroot and Sapphire Mountains. It's located about 50 feet from the lodge. Just looking out of the windows of the cabin will leave you in awe and make you wish that you never had to leave at all. However, if you're really a diehard fan and really want to stay there, this experience will cost you a whopping $1,200 per night for four guests. Then there's also the Ben Cook Cabin or Rip's Cabin that offers stunning views of the ranch at a slightly higher price at $1,500 per night for four guests. Both cabins can accommodate up to eight guests with a $50 additional fee per guest. There's also a minimum stay of three nights in both cabins and a 10% discount if you stay at least five nights or more. Smoking is discouraged in the cabins, and should there be a guest who wishes to do so while staying there, a recovery fee of $300 will be charged. Each cabin is fully equipped with all the basic necessities and has a full kitchen, grill, and a washer and dryer, direct TV, and even Wi-Fi. It's just like a real home with a mountain and peaceful feel that you wished you'd live there permanently. Meals are not served on the ranch, but there are restaurants to go to in Darby and local caterers that could provide meals to guests staying in the cabin. For guests who would like to cook their own food, there's a market about two miles from the ranch, or you have the option to drive 25 minutes to the nearest grocery store in Hamilton. Guests staying in the cabins are given tours of the ranch and the set of the show. Locations used as part of the set include the great room, the kitchen, front and back porch, and yard at the lodge, in addition to the cabins, barns, helipad, and several other locations on the property. Don't forget to bring your fishing gear. You can also go fishing, whether on your own or with a guide or outfitter, about one mile from the ranch that borders Bitterroot River or nearby fishing accesses. Fishing ramps are open in late June until later in the fall. Guests also have the option to bring their horses to the ranch for horseback riding. The horses can be corralled or pastured and will have a fee of $25 a day for two horses. No other pets such as dogs or cats will be allowed inside the ranch. Based on the experiences of guests who have already been there, there are other fun activities you could also do such as visiting Lake Como, riding an ATV up the bitter roots, taking a helicopter to see aerial views of the ranch, or simply watching wild animals such as deer and elk wander around the premises. So. Which part of the ranch are you most excited to visit? Be sure to check out the Chief Joseph Ranch website for the latest updates. While it could be a challenge in booking a reservation, you won't be disappointed in what the ranch has to offer. We hope that you enjoyed watching our video and we'll see you next time.